discussed that you can love God and you can love your neighbors. You can love the one true, holy, and righteous God, and you can even love those who may seem to be unlovable. How do you know that you can love them? Because you were baptized. Because you have been put to death and raised again to new life. Because you have been crucified with Christ in a death like his and have been brought to life again in a resurrection like his. Too often, people think of Christianity as just a list of rules to follow, a moral code to unlock by better living, a specific set of regulations and a way of life that's almost impossible because of all of the holiness requirements. It's not like that at all. We are all sinners. We are also all saints. We are those who fail every day at being good Christians. We are also those for whom Jesus died and rose again. Those whose sins were washed away in our baptism, washed away by the very blood that Jesus shed upon his cross to cover every single one of your sins. And because he has taken your sins away in that washing of blood and water, because he has removed all of your failures and misdeeds, because he has recreated you into his own child, you have reason to rejoice. You can look at the world around you and realize that Jesus loves them as well. Jesus' death and resurrection was for your neighbors too. He wants everyone to be saved to come to the knowledge of the truth. As a baptized child of God, you have the assurance that this future is already yours. You have experienced the unfathomable love of God for you in your baptism and in your gatherings for worship in the divine service. Each and every one of those divine services begins with the invocation, words that were first spoken over you in your baptism, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those words help you recall your baptism, that God the Father still loves you, still forgives you, still has a place for you in eternity. That certainty that he has done this for you and will continue to hold you near in his arms is what reminds you that you can love those who are around you. Who are you? The baptized of God, the one given the tremendous gift of faith and love and salvation. It doesn't matter if the world seems to be against you. It doesn't matter if you seem to not know what your place is in this world. God still loves you. And because he loves you, you can love those around you. Those who draw you near and remind you of your place in his kingdom and his creation.